is wonderful. Such a beautiful, healthy tree. Thanks for your help, Octonauts. I say, Tweak, does the Terragup have an instruction manual? It sure does, Professor. Right below the console. Why? I'm being pursued by some very persistent howler monkeys. I told them they had to move to a new tree, and they didn't take it at all well. Keep them moving, Inky. Maybe we can lead them to a healthy part of the forest. I agree. Moving seems to be the best plan. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, when traveling up steep inclines, make sure the primary graspers are engaged. Oh, well, that goes without saying. You know, I think I'm getting the hang of... Oh! Hey! Why are you chasing us? What? That can't be right. After him! Ooh, 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 ooh. You're doing great, Inky. Follow that branch to the next tree. Uh, I'm afraid that branch doesn't quite reach anymore. But I have an idea. <laughs> well, I'll be. Brilliant, Inky. Now the howlers can run across to their new home. <laughs> oh, but it will not work. We're not leaving. Now, with my apologies, we must once again force you to leave. Oh, me oh my. You're trying to knock the Terrigal five out of the tree. <laughs> leave our friends alone. Fine. We know better than to mess with harpy eagles. Ooh, how dare you chase us into a new tree with more leaves and clay to eat and, uh, ooh, better places to sleep. Maybe we should just stay. Oh, right. Uh, actually, we will take this tree too. So, with uh, apologies, it is ours now. So, uh, I guess, thank you. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Oh, maybe I should just stay here. Don't give up, Vim. Tweak will figure something out. Vroom. Hmm. Why walk when you can roll? With this wheel from my gut bam, you won't need to walk on your front leg. How's that feel? Weird. Maybe I should just wait until my leg feels better. Uh, not sure that's such a good idea. Maybe it's another recent. No, not a recent. It's definitely a bear, and he looks hungry. Hey, who's been eating all my roots and berries? Oh no, I am doomed. Don't worry, Vim. I'll be right here with you. Mm. Well, maybe I'll be okay, as long as the bear doesn't see us. But even from this distance, he might smell us. <laughs> oh, we've got to get out of here. Oh, you can do it. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Huh. Oh, I, I, I think I'm getting the hang of this. That's good, because the hungry-looking bear spotted us. A weasant. Yum! <laughs> Forget roots and berries. You look much tastier. Ah! <laughs> oh, dear. To the meadow! <laughs> Snacks! Come back! <laughs> That's it, Vim! You're doing it! Oh, I like fast food, but not that fast. Oh. I can't see them. They're on their way! And fast! Change of plan, Peso! We need to lift off right away! <gasps> Blappity flippers! Is that a bear? <laughs> Come on, Vim! You can do it! You want me to go in bed? Don't worry, Vim. I'm here with you. <clears throat> vroom, vroom! Oh, my 
snack is flying away. All right, back to my berries. Do you see the armadillo yet? I'm afraid I don't see anything. Uh, well, I hear something. Sounds like someone's in danger. Uh, over there! Ah, guess there's still a few hot spots left over from yesterday's fire. I'll get the armadillo. Pa, you and Dashie put out the fires. On it! It's okay. Fires are out. She's got the turtle egg! Follow that armadillo! Oh, oh me, oh my! Did you see how high that armadillo jumped? Uh, sure did. When armadillos are frightened, they can leap three to four feet in the air. Look! She's heading into the river! Oh no! All that heavy armor covering her must have made her sink! Wait for it. Look! She's floating! That's right, Tweak. Armadillos can fill their bellies with air so they can float. Well, that's a relief, but we still gotta catch up with her. Yeah, gotta get Belle's egg back. <gasps> She's sinking! Don't worry, we'll save her. Oh. Hey, whoa! Oh, you okay, Pa? Yeah, oh, it's just, uh, oh, I didn't know the cupcake could go underwater like this. I've lived in the Everglades my whole life. But I've never been under its waters. It's amazing. I'm sticking to this tree no matter what. I'm afraid we can't go anywhere either. Our egg is about to hatch, so I sealed up our nest to keep them safe. Them? Are you saying Mrs. Hornbill is sealed inside there too? Only for five months? Just until our chick is old enough to fly? It's not so bad. There's a little hole where I bring them food. But they're not going anywhere for now. We can't risk harming the hornbills. Looks like we'll have to move this tree upright. It'll be a little wobbly, Kip. But the Cherub One can handle it. I can use my map to lead you on the smoothest path to the safest location, just across the river. Excellent. Wazi and I will stay behind to make sure a teeth doesn't follow you. Where'd my scratching tree go? Now, Ati, I'm sorry, but the creatures in that tree were in danger, so we had to move it. Plenty more trees in the forest, matey. We can help you find one, like this one. Sleek, stylish, a real itch-scratcher. But I want my scratching tree. <sighs> hey! Come back with that. <sighs> That's it, Tweak. Slow and steady. Yes, steady is good. Please be careful. My wife and chick are inside. Uh, I can do the slow part. I'm not so sure about steady. <laughs> oh, no, no. Forget slow. A teeth is right on our tail. Hold on, a teeth. Let me pass. That's my scratching tree. No can do, matey. There are creatures in that snag. Oh, oh no! Tweak, open the hatch!
to the Octorade. Wow, look at that! I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond! <laughs>